I was feeling power to the people, stand up for my sisters. And then it was just like, I'm a savage. I feel like doing a TikTok dance. Like, I don't know. It kind of threw me a little bit. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hate Get your money, sis. Get your weight up. Making money move. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, it's all about the cream and getting money. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hate up. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited, unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. It's been two weeks, and I have had a whole lot to say, but it's been busy, 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 busy. And I just didn't feel like with dealing with any type of negativity or... I just didn't feel like it, okay? No. <laughs> um, but I promise that will not be happening anymore. But I needed a little two weeks off of the drama and, you know, giving my little opinion. I just wanted positivity. You know, just positive things on my channel. You see my videos of my family. If you didn't, go check that out. Check out those vlogs. Um, but yeah, let's get let's get into this tea. It's been a minute and I'm back. So let's go. <laughs> So I'm not going to lie, I, I, I've i been coming across a few things that I wanted to talk about. I'm not going to go into depth of everything because I really did not do my homework too much. I know, shame, shame, shame. I'm just doing terrible and I'm so sorry. But I'm going to briefly talk about what I have been hearing. Okay. First things first, I'm really tired of talking about this, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. Um, because it's been two weeks and I haven't been able to bring it up. So, the whole, again, Megan, the Stallion, Tory Lane situation, as you guys know already, or you probably don't know, Tory Lanez came out with a whole mixtape, I guess, kind of addressing everything that's been going on, spilling the tea. I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not listen to any of the songs, but... Based on what I've been reading on social media and the shade room and all of that stuff, basically he is saying things like, I think that he implied that she was tripping on him because he was feeling Kylie Jenner and something about he was dealing with Megan's friend and she was messing with him too. All kind of crazy. Long, long story short, he ain't apologized. And he ain't really um, admitting to what he did. Um, so, yeah. Whatever that was about, he just capitalized off of the incident, made some money off of it, um, and wrote a few songs. Now, recently, as of this weekend, Megan performed on SNL. And I did not see the performance, but I saw a little clip of it on the shade room. Shout out to the shade room. Um, yeah, I saw the snippet of her performance uh, right before she went into her song. There was a moment, it gave me very Beyonce vibes. Um, I'm going to try to put a clip. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. If not, it's going to be right here in this corner. Giving me very Beyonce vibes you know um it was malcolm x's speech about how the black women are the most unprotected the most disrespected in america and how we have been taught to hate our noses and hate our hair and you know those type of things and you know she was standing in that her and her um her and her dancers they stood there and then you could see like on the screen it was like gunshots obviously because she has been shot in the foot by a man and it was a moment it was a moment and then from that it went into uh the song savage okay now reading the comments because of course that's what i'm gonna do honestly before i read the comments i immediately like commented like yes meg like i was honestly i felt it like it was like wow okay this is a moment yeah, some people was not feeling it. Um, these are some of the comments I came across. Some people were very supportive, and some people were still bashing her. And I'm just like, 
that's crazy so my two cents on the performance is I thought that moment was beautiful I felt it as a woman as a black woman in America um, as a woman who has been disrespected before and not treated equally honestly I thought it was a beautiful moment you know I've played that speech in parts of um, my little rants on here because um, I had did a video a long time ago about guys and cat calling and the disrespect the way men disrespect women in the street and I'm gonna say I don't know about other races but I know as a black woman you know there's times where I walk through my neighborhood and you know guys can be really really disrespectful um, if you don't want to give them the time of the day you getting cursed out you getting called the bee you getting called whack you you know it, they can be really really nasty I said that to say um, I definitely listened to that speech before go listen to that speech because it's true like women black women are disrespected and I don't care how many men who sit there and say well I make sure I do this I make sure I do that and listen brother we appreciate y'all believe me we appreciate all the ones who do give black women the respect and who do fight for us and who do stand up for us or stand beside us um, at war but this too many that don't there's too many that are disrespectful there's too many that don't care there's too many who downgrade black women and i just didn't understand why people felt like this was a moment to put her down when she's trying to uplift now a lot of people are like all right she's dragging it and like she's using this situation like that's not what malcolm x listen I think we all, because we see her out and performing and doing her thing, it's it's not being taken as serious as, as it was. I had to put myself in her shoes and imagine somebody who, whether it's somebody you was dating, talking to, friends, somebody you chilling with, somebody you went out with. Somebody that you got in the same vehicle with and has been hang and have been hanging out with this person all night. Prior to this night, you know, you have now created a connection with this person. And something goes left and the person shoots you. Like, you understand what I'm saying? Even if it is in the foot, imagine if you were in that position. Like, that is serious. I don't know if everybody, I think because, you know, we look at these people like they're celebrities. Like, they don't have emotions. They don't feel anything. And... Like I said, again, because you see her out and about, that means she never went through something. Like, that was traumatic. Like, that, I'm sure that is something that's going to always haunt her. Like, somebody, like, somebody I trusted shot me for what? You understand what I'm saying? Um, and I think people are just not taking it as serious. And I feel like if she wants to use her platform, because that is what we do. If you have a platform, you use it to get a message out you use it whether your message is is negative positive whatever that is what your platform is for and she decided to use her platform to say hey black women are still out here being disrespected neglected like what was wrong with that i'm confused why was that wrong now now what i will say you know that moment, you know, when Beyonce be doing that, and then it goes into something like, um, goes into her song like Freedom or something, you know, it makes sense. But when it went to, I'm a savage, classy, bougie, ratchet. Like, I, it, it kind of threw the moment for me. I'm not even going front. Like, it kind of threw the moment for me. Like, it was just like, no, no doesn't match you know those those two don't go hand in hand but i see what she was going with it you feel me like i see what she was going with it she she had to take that moment she had to take that moment that opportunity to say what she had to say and kudos to you megan i i thought it was a a, a powerful moment like i said the song quite didn't match 
then another thing a lot of people saying like oh watch when Tori come out to be innocent or watch watch um watch when it comes out that he didn't do anything like i don't know where that where where people are actually getting this information that he's innocent maybe it was in one of these songs that he put out i don't know because like i said i didn't listen but um if you do think tory lanes is innocent please comment down below and let me know why like i'm confused i don't know i'm not gonna say he's not because like i said you, you know i always say i wasn't there you wasn't there none of us was there so we don't know and there's always three sides to the story but if you feel like he's innocent please let me know what what's 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 the deal with that why why do you think he's innocent what did y'all hear that i didn't hear okay so basically that's my little two cent on that um i just don't understand why she's getting hate for taking that moment now, if y'all want to say that the moment didn't match the song, then I'll agree. Because it kind of threw me. I was feeling power to the people. Stand up for my sisters. And then it was just like, I'm a savage. I feel like doing the TikTok dance. Like, I don't know. It kind of threw me a little bit. But, you know, we, we support you, man. We support you. The next thing I want to talk about is... um respectfully it had recently come out that naya rivera's sister and ex-fiance is now living together raising naya rivera's son that she left behind okay i said it's just hearsay things that i heard um that they moved in together then some people were saying they saw pictures of them holding him which i'm sure that was not um I don't think that was true, but I don't really know. So when it came out, they received a whole lot of opinions, backlash, and I heard even death threats. Um, weird. Yeah, people were not happy about it. They thought it was weird. They thought, you know, oh, they're sleeping together. You know, people automatically jumped to the, the worst possible assumptions about what was going on in that household um a lot of people did not agree with it and yeah naya rivera's ex-husband posted a video stating that you know he did what was best for his son his son wanted his aunt to move in with them and you know they did they made the decision you know we're gonna do what's best for him right now during this traumatic time again you're getting two cents when the two cents. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard this, when I first heard that they were living together, I was like, say what now? I was like, uh yeah, no. Um, I probably would not care for that. Um, if I I uh, I'ma just say, initially I just thought it was like too far, like no, why would, like no, it's going to lead to something, you know, but after hearing how nasty people are about it, I had to check myself like, okay, you're being immature and you're being an idiot, like at the end of the day, one, I'm not a mom, I am an aunt um, that will do anything for her nieces and nephews, I personally I don't think I would move in with their fathers. God forbid anything was to happen to my sisters. Um, I personally would not move in with their dad to make sure that they were okay. I would be very much there for my niece and nephews, but I would not move in with the dad. Um, now, if one of them asked me to, I probably... <sighs> maybe i would stay some nights but i wouldn't move in and that's just me that's just me like i said i don't see anything wrong with it um but i actually heard people say like oh well if they do get together what's the big deal i mean it'll be a big deal i mean she's she's you know naya has passed away respectfully me 
it would be a big deal for me. Like, I wouldn't want my sister hooking up with my ex fiance. What's that movie? Because I love that movie. This movie? Yeah. We see how that happened. You know, they were friends. And I mean, it's a little different because they were friends, but you know, they got thrown in the house together raising their best friend's child. And uh, of course, they ended up dating. Um, two people living under the same roof like that, mourning, going through that type of emotion. They're, you know, they're leaning on each other. Things are bound to happen. Anything could happen. I just worry about, you know, what that would do to the child. God forbid if this relate if it went into a relationship and they was to have a child together that would now be like his cousin brother or his cousin sister like you know that 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 I would I don't think that they're even thinking about any of that but let's be real you know those type of things can happen and I think that's where everybody's head including mine instantly went like oh nah they're going to hook up you know like that's crazy like but I understand the pain that they're going to is probably unbelievable and they're willing to do anything to, to ease that child's pain of not having his mother around ever again. So I respect what they're doing. Um, they're literally being selfless and putting that child's needs first. The baby wants him wants them to live together they're doing whatever for this child and i respect it like i said me personally i wouldn't do it i would not do it you know i mean my niece and nephews are a little older now but even if they were at a young young age i would be very much involved as long as the father allowed me to i would be there when they need me stay a few nights have some type of arrangement where you know the child is living with me and the father because at the end of the day naya rivera and the dad was no longer together so the child was still living in separate homes so i think they can manage that but it's now under different circumstances there's now pain involved there's mourning involved you know the child doesn't he's trying to comprehend mommy's never coming back so of course he would want his aunt right by his side as well as his dad he wants anybody he can you know that's going to give him that motherly touch so i i understand i did not initially initially i was like oh no that's that's a no that's a no for me but i do respect it and i do understand it and um again always praying for their you know for the peace for their peace and you know if you guys are making death threats, stop. Like that's just sick. Like, come on. I don't. I don't know anybody who would actually care that much to make death threats. Why do you care what these people are doing? Why do we care what celebrities are doing? Period is beyond me. Like, these people are above our pay grade. Why do we even care? I don't know. But it's entertainment. It's something to talk about. But we have to understand, and I always say this, these are real people with real emotions. I know they may seem like robots on the TV just here to entertain us, but at the end of the day, they're human beings with feelings and emotions, and we have to take it into consideration, okay? People have mental breakdowns all the time because of the things that people say. So everybody can't take comments, guys. Everybody can't take those comments, so... We have to be mindful of that, okay, in both situations. All right, so with that being said, ooh, I miss talking to you guys and running my mouth. Um, yeah, if you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single Tuesday that I post a video. And if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up and comment let me know down below do you think megan's performance was eh, not necessary inappropriate and do you think that it's okay that naya rivera's sister and ex fiance is now living together raising her son let me know down below what you guys think 
make sure you follow me on all my social medias everything will be up top and in the description down below and on that note jenny is out see you next tuesday